YouTube. It's the 21st of September. I want to talk about a, a topic called safe guarding your relationship. Men, there's always somebody. There's always a no good. Yeah, no good looking to sleep with your wife, girlfriend, your rock steady. Women, if you got a good man, if you got a good man, there's always women out there, whether it happens accidentally, and I'm saying whether these things happen accidentally, whether they, uh, there, there's always, there's always others out there. There's always others out there. You know, there, there, were, there was Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve in paradise. In paradise. And lo and behold, there's something out there. Something out there. I'm trying to look for something to wipe my windows down. Something out there to swoop down and take his girl. Entice his girl. Lust. Lust of the eye. Women got lust of the eye too. Not only does men have it, but women lust after things that are obviously different than men. Men lust after physical things. Women lust after power. <laughs> lust after, lust up to that bag. And if your man is carrying that bag and she sees that he's, and he know how to go get the bag and hunt, she's lusting after him. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But before I go on, go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that like button. Hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like what I'm saying, hit the dislike button. Just let me know that you're there. Safeguarding your relationship. I, I told this to my wife today. I was working out at the gym. I said, I said, I said, you know, it's important. And I, I could see some of my mishaps from earlier on. And, and I had to change the names of the true people uh, to protect blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know what? I said, we literally should be entwined tied to a knot you ever you guys ever tie one of those good knots you can't get the knot apart that's how your relationship should be with your girl your wife i'm gonna say wife i'm not gonna say girl because if if that man that man ain't put a ring on it and make it legit in front of um in front of the law in front of the law, in front of a priest to recognize the, the, the to recognize that this is legit. That's that's all it is. It's saying that this all right, this this legit. This is legit. This this thing is real. You know, uh back in the day, and I know I'm sidetracking, if you wanted to marry a bride, the man had to have a house. He had to have his own kingdom set up. He had to have a dowry, the bag, to give to, and this does not mean women are property. This means that women had value. Women have value as the carrier, as the, as, as the, the, the incubator of our seed. They have value. They can, they can breed us nations. I told my wife, we just got married, say congrats. I said, your name at your job is blah, 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 you know, because she's in the medical professional field. So she has that dash. I said, any time outside of that job, your last name is my last name. She kind of, she kind of hesitated. This is, this is new upon her. I said, no. I said, because what you're carrying around isn't really your last name. You're carrying, you're bearing your father's name. Your, that that's that's your father. Now there's a new sheriff in town, and that new sheriff has my last name. And anytime you step outside that medical profession, 
you are representing me in dress, in code, in honor, and I am doing the same likewise to you in respect and uh, making sure that that I am exclusively yours. But um, going back to the topic, going back to the topic, you guys literally should safeguard your marriage. That 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 means from family, that means from friends, that means you guys move in unison. People ain't supposed to be able to tell y'all apart. It's like okay, if if I, oh oh she sounds just like Mister Mister So and So, my last name. Her, her actions match up with mine. Oh oh, he's so responsible. You know he's 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 getting the okay. She's he's bringing the information to her. She's not an okay. All right, cool. That's how we gonna move blah 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 it's kind of literally if you think about it it's kind of like how the father the son and the holy ghost us trinitarian believers operate it's kind of like how they operate one doesn't jesus christ said i and my father are one and we can see this when he got baptized in the holy spirit it was all three of them there at one time in unison you guys read the book called the shack um, and it'll, it'll, it'll perfectly describe that. Me growing up Pentecostal apostolic, it was believed that, you know, it wasn't the Trinitarian belief. I wholeheartedly believe that now. Um, but that's how you guys are supposed to operate. You guys are supposed to operate as one. I'm going home to get my wedding ring because I took it off. <laughs> took it off to wash my hands. I'm getting, I'm getting my Thanos. One of the, I'm getting the ring, but you guys are supposed to operate as one. You guys are supposed to safeguard your marriage because there are those that creep in unaware, creep in unaware. It's those that want that happiness that you have, those that want to, for men, you know. Come in and talk to your wife. And this this means cutting this means cutting uh relationships out. Retainers. This means uh it's like it's like I told my wife today. I said in the past, I said, you know what? And, and I said Sarah should have, you know, Sarah wants to take up a class at the gym and it's boxing or if this is that. And mind you guys may disagree with me and be like, you guys need your individuality. You guys may scream that. You need your individuality. I'm not saying to lose your individuality. I'm not saying to lose or not to go hang out with your girls, but I'm, I'm telling you how to safeguard your marriage. How to safeguard your relationship. You know, if, if your husband is fit, I might be a fit person. You guys haven't seen my physique. <laughs> Why is she going to the gym to get training from uh, uh, Jesus or Tyrone? That, that should be with your husband. Well, he gets up at different times than me. You know, he gets up at early in the a.m. Guess what? Yo behind need to be up early in the a.m. with him. Because you know what else is up early with the a.m.? There's other women up early at the a.m. in the gym getting it before work. Attractive women, I might add. Men, if you don't like to dance, if you only like to do the Fat Joe and do the Rockaway, and she, and I tell my wife I'm not a dancer. But here's the thing. If that's something that she likes to do, I'm going to learn how to dance with her. I'm not a dancer, but I can learn. I play a lot of music. If you guys catch some of my previous other posts, so I know how to catch the catch the beat, catch the rhythm of the night. Because here's the thing: if she's not dancing with me, she can be dancing with somebody else that knows how to dance. And that underwear has crept in. I'm gonna say this to the men. I'm gonna say this to the women. Treat your spouse like they are a prize. Treat them like your gun. Treat them like your gun. If, you, if you, any of you guys have a gun out there, 
you guys know don't nobody touch your gun but you you dig nobody no nobody touches that gun nobody pull nobody can make that gun bang but you treat them like your gun treat them like your prized possession treat them like somebody hey treat treat them like 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 it's your favorite car that can get stolen safeguard them because it can happen it definitely can happen and that's what you want to safeguard against that's what you want to safeguard against you want to safeguard against creepers against life you know, men, you know, your wife, you should be, I'm not, I'm not going to say, you know, you know, some things I, I should say you should, you should keep in the confides and tell men only, not unless your wife can really handle it. You know, you got a problem with lust. You got a problem with porn. You, you got a problem with this. You know, some, some women can't handle that. They, they can't figure out why some women be like, okay, we're going to fix this problem and I'm going to be your porn from now on. You know, I need, I need to help you through this, you know, or, or women. If you, if you have a problem and you can't emotionally, you, you should learn how to. If not, you know, connect with a very, very strong female. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be the opposite sex that you should com confide in. Because all of a sudden, you know, an unaware creeps in, somebody sliding into the DM. Uh, Kevin Samuels was a firm believer, and I agree with him. He was like, all the women that he was dating... Get you no, you can't have no social media presence, not unless you some major influencer. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Um, even though I'm not hardcore like that, you know, I'm not hardcore like you can. But yeah, anytime both y'all is paying more attention to your phones than uh than you are with each other, there's a problem. I think um. Me and my wife went out to a Thai restaurant. We both left the phones in the car. Didn't know what time it was. Didn't know anything. It was, and it was beautiful. It was straight focus. We need to get back. We need to get back to the to the times before these uh these cell phones existed and everybody had access to you. Everybody, if not unless it is within your normal realms of working hours. And I told my wife this. I said, hey, I said in the future, I think I might need to get a work phone. Or make this my work phone and uh, get another phone because everybody isn't supposed to be able to have access to you all the time get that everybody's not supposed to have access to you all the time within your normal working hours I even told my wife and uh, you know is, is, so, is your supervisor is your is he hitting your private phone up I said that stops now that stops now and she did correct that I said that no no they, they don't hit your private phone up. That's why they gave you a company phone. You know, safeguard, safeguard. Are you insecure, Blair? I have some peanut butter on my wrist. No, I'm not insecure, but I know I got a good thing. I know I got a good thing and I know how men are. I said, no, 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 that doesn't happen. That does not freaking happen. Anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think about safeguarding your relationships and some of the things you guys do to, you know, some of the barriers that you put in place to make sure that you guys stay exclusive and remain exclusive and move as one unit. All right. Peace.